everyone. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna put a custom stereo in the BYD seal. And as part of that, I'm sussing out which cables go to the existing speakers because I'm gonna use some of the existing speakers. Some of the existing speakers I won't be using, like this sub here. So that's the sub that's in there, but that's going. Anyway, what I'm gonna do in this video is share with you what I found for the pinouts on the amplifier, the factory amplifier, and basically make a reference for myself for what the pins are what and just show you what the car comes with. Not the actual stereo install, that'll come later, but just what's in here when you get one of these things. Now, as you can see, I've ripped some stuff apart here because I'm gonna put a controller there, but again, that's to the next video. For now, I just wanna point out, there's a woofer down here, a tweeter up here, and it's like that for the four doors. There's also a speaker in the middle, but I'm not concerned with that. I'm just gonna be concerned about the doors because that's the only speakers I'm gonna be using. Now, if you come around to the boot, on the left hand side, well the right was where the sub was, that's where I ripped that thing out from. But on the left hand side is the amplifier. And mainly it's these two plugs that I'm concerned about. So this one here is for, you can see it's got thicker cables, it's for the woofers in the door and what the subwoofer was. And this one over here is for the tweeters and the back parcel rack. And I'll just go through these with some um, test signal. And one thing to point out, even though the car's off, I've got the door open. You can see it's got windows open, door open here. And because that's open, it's showing stuff on the screen and that amplifier was a little bit warm. Whereas before, when it shuts down properly, the amp goes cold. Just thought I'd mention that. Okay, so the bigger plug on the left has the thicker cables and that's for the bigger speakers. So this had the subwoofer and the four woofers in the doors. And this plug next to it, I'll just get it out of the way. This plug next to it had the tweeters in the doors and the speakers on the back parcel rack, so the six pairs there. So I'll go through and show you what these are about. Now I did up a bit of a diagram after I mapped these out, and what you can see is the small connector on the right for the tweeters and parcel rack just has a simple plus and minus for the uh, speakers, so one pair per speaker. But on the bigger plug for the woofers and that, what you can see, you can see the subwoofer has two pairs, the back right woofer has one, the back left woofer has one. But the front left woofer, that's the doors, the front left door and the front right door both have two as well. So these are actually dual coil speakers in the front doors and the subwoofer. I'll show you what that means. Okay, what I've got here is just a positive and negative speaker output from a different amplifier altogether outside of the car, just to have a signal source. And I've split them up into a couple of each. So I'll just show you one of these here from the parcel rack right here where I am. Just show you this goes to one of the speakers here. I can shove that in. Apparently, I don't think that's in. If I can get in there, you can. Okay, stand by, put this one in. There you go. So that's the speaker just here in the boot. I've just plugged that in. Nothing special as you'd expect. But if I go to the woofers at the front, so I'll go to the front right door, and that's this pair on the end and also the next pair in. So if I join that up on the end, Hopefully you can hear that. That sets the front door off. If I do it on the next pair, that's also the front door. But it's actually two coils in it. So if I put the negative on both of them, that down the bottom there, and I just put one of them in at the top, you probably won't hear the difference, but now when I put the second one in, it just got a bit louder. So that's uh, using both coils in that speaker, but that's only in the front door speakers that they, they are. The back speaker still just had one coil. So that's that. Now if I look at the impedance on those speakers, I'll just go to one of the coils. It's what you expect, four ohms. So the old dodgy multimeter catch up to what's going on here. So you've got four ohms there on that speaker, and the same speaker in the other coil, it'll also be four ohms. But if I wire them in parallel, that'll bring it down to two ohms. And the new amp that I've got going in can easily do that. So that's how I'm going to wire that up. So the reason I needed to find them is because I'm going to take a high level output from this. I'm going to cut these cables and feed them into a, the high level input of my signal source. And then my own amplifiers are going to go out to this and go off to the speakers. Now there's also these other ones here which I haven't pinned out yet, but that'll be like the center speaker and the other things up the front. I'm not terribly concerned about them at the moment. This was my main thing I needed to get going so I could uh, make some progress with my own cabling. 
Okay, so there's gonna be some real stereo gear going in this car. And here's a bit of a sneak peek of it. Just a bit of the head unit and the amps there. And of course, I'm gonna have some uh, better subwoofers, plural. And as you can see on this one here, it's dual coil. You've got terminals on that side and that side. So there's gonna be a couple of these which are a hell of a lot meatier than the thing I took out before. But anyway, the main purpose of this video was just to have a reference, mainly for myself, of the pinouts of the amplifier in the seal. And of course, if anyone else wants to know, there you go. So that's it for this video, short and sweet. Till next time, take it easy.